Hello YouTube, Bookum Dano here. Hey, I wanted to uh, talk about a few things today. We just got back from C2E2, uh, the Chicago con, uh, so I wanted to give my first impressions on that. Um, and I also did uh, uh, CGC on-site grading for three books, so I thought I'd show those. Um, but first of all, I wanted to talk about the My Comic Shop Prime Auction, which is going on right now. Um, you know, in the <laughs> vein of uh, selfish self-promotion, shameless self-promotion, um, I've got 10 items in the uh, Prime Auction that ends tonight, Monday, uh, April 9th. Um, all 10 are graded um, 9.8s. Um, with the exception of Batman the Killing Joke, which is 9.6. Um, but if you're interested in any of these books, I'll put a link for the, um, for the modern segment of the Prime Auction. And, uh, you know, feel free to take a look. Um, there's the Betty Page regular and sketch cover uh, 9.8s, uh, number ones, uh, by Greg Hildebrandt. Um, those are uh, those are up for auction. There's uh, Justice League versus Suicide Squad, um, uh, Buy Me Toys uh, exclusives, both the color and the sketch variant. Those are by Joe Jusco. Uh, there's a Gen 13 number one with a J. Scott Campbell cap uh, uh, cover. I've got Star Wars number one, uh, signed by Jason Aaron and John Cassidy. Uh, I've got Superior Spider-Man, number one. This is the uh, Quesada 1 in 150 uh, variant, sketch variant. Uh, there's a Descender, number one. And then the, the last one I wanted to talk about, because it goes right in with uh, C2E2, is Lady Killer, number one, which is Joelle Jones. Um, it's a Dark Horse uh, book uh, that kind of... I don't know, I think it kind of came out of nowhere. Um, but my wife was a big fan of that. And uh, as I talk about C2E2 here, you'll see that uh, Joel Jones is a big, was a big theme at C2E2. Um, so yeah, if, you, you know, if you're interested in any of those books, please check out the auction. Um, you know, my comic shop ships super securely. And uh, you know, you can, you can trust their, their packing and stuff. So. Um, and they're all graded, so you're not even trusting, um, you know, my comic shop's grading, which I've found to be pretty, pretty conservative anyway. Um, so on to uh, C2E2. I was there for all three days, courtesy of uh, my job, uh, believe it or not. I work for the Westchester Public Library in Chesterton, Indiana. And... Um, so it was kind of a professional development um, time. They've got a lot of panels for uh, for libraries uh, and that sort of thing. So um, I attended a lot of those. Uh, of course, we also did some some fun stuff. Um, what you're looking at here is a little print we got from Mike Norton. He does a book called Battle Pugs or Battle Pug, and uh, so he does you know superheroes um, uh, and and other things you know uh, as pugs or pugs dressed up as the superheroes uh, we've got a bunch of his other stuff we've got Wonder Woman we've got the flash and we've got a Superman Batman one so this this one I didn't see last year I don't believe uh, so we picked it up this is Harley Quinn of course um, but they're kind of cute little things we frame them put them up um, and they're I don't never get tired of looking at them um, other things at C2E2 uh, a lot of people um, uh, I went to the Batman panel on Saturday with it was a great panel Tom King Joel Jones um, Sean Gordon Murphy Clayman Tony Daniels um, Oh man, what other guy? I forget. Um, but that was great. They kind of teased some of the stuff coming up in uh, in Batman, and they also um, 
announced, you know, it's a pretty big announcement that um, Catwoman is coming out and it is going to be written and art by Joelle Jones. So you may know that she's been, you know, in addition to Lady Killer, she's been doing some of the art in Batman and she did the, um, the variant cover for number 40 for Batman 44, which just came out last week. Um, this is like a print that we had her sign. My wife is a big fan of this, but it's Catwoman in her wedding dress looking in the mirror. And then it's the um, variant cover for Batman 44. Uh, and it's, you know, number 40 out of 100 and signed by Joel Jones there. Um, so it was super cool to hear that uh, she's going to get her own book um, and that it's, you know, appropriately Catwoman. Um, she was uh, pretty funny. I was able to, you know, interact with her just a little bit at her at her uh, Artist Alley booth. She signed a couple things for me. She signed a uh, Lady Killer Volume 2, number one, that I had with me. Um, so that... That was cool. The Batman panel was a lot of fun, um, so real happy about that. There was so much going on there that even with a three-day ticket, um, you know, I'm still kind of hoping that I saw everything that I that I wanted to. I, I think I did, uh, but it was you know, it was a great time. It's a lot of a lot of fun. A lot of uh, you know, digging through long boxes, looking for looking for comics and um you know getting some cool cool signatures i didn't get quite as many signatures as i usually do um i got a bunch of aunt lucia stuff signed which um i'll do a separate video on that um but you know impressions on c2e2 was it was a great time i now i did have a little bit of you know I guess like really mild disappointment with CGC, um, and I'll I'll tell you why now as we move on to the on-site grading um, segment here. So I took three books in because they were doing on-site grading, which you turn them in on Friday and then you get them back on Sunday. Um, so I brought in three modern books. Um, that's the first one there. Sorry about the glare, but not a whole lot I can do about that, I guess. Um, so the guy, I we had to wait in line quite a for quite a while. It was over an hour uh, waiting in line Friday morning to turn in books uh, for the on-site grading, and this was in the line where everything was done. You know, I had filled out the online. Uh, submission form and printed it out uh, all the information was there the books are ready so it should have been just a process of uh, you know walking up handing them the, the the submission form with your with your books they double check to make sure everything matches and then you're on your way um, I had never done this before so I didn't know exactly what to expect and you know for all I knew an hour plus weight was normal uh, but the guy behind me was a you know, real professional. Uh, it turns out he works for Rocket Comics, uh, which does a lot of pressing and you know restoration removal and that sort of thing. Um, and he was there. Um, I was glad I was one person ahead of him in line because he had a big suitcase and he said he had 80 books in there, um, you know, for clients to get to get done for the on-site grading. Um, he said he had been at the Emerald City Con, which I believe was just the week before, and done the same thing, and was able to just walk straight up to the on-site drop-off, drop off his books. There was no wait, and um, you know that was that was it. So I was a little bit bummed about that. The CGC employees themselves were very, um, you know, gracious. Apologized for the wait. Um, they seemed to be pretty efficient so I'm not sure exactly where the where the delay was but um, the others you know 
disappointment, I guess, uh, again, just kind of slight, was on Sunday. They told me to just keep watching, um, you know, my account in the on the website, and that would tell me when the books were graded. Well, you know, I checked first thing Sunday morning, and it said, like, grading slash quality control. And I checked pretty much, like, every hour after that, and it never moved off of that. And finally, you know, it's 3.30 or so four o'clock and I'm like you know the show closes in an hour um, I know there's a ton of people that dropped off books after I did these have got to be done so I walked up there and they're like oh yeah I'm sure they're done what's your name and I was like oh <laughs> um, and mostly because I had asked you know about a couple hours earlier uh, if the website was updating properly, but I guess I had asked on the wrong side. It was on the like CGC witness side, and I'm not sure it was an actual employee. He was just anyway. He, he was just like, oh yeah, just look on the website and it'll tell you when you're ready. So we were pretty, uh, you know, tired by Sunday afternoon and was kind of ready to get going. Um, but you know, all in all. Um, it, it was a good experience. Now, as far as the grades themselves go, um, I got three books graded. Uh, this here is X23 Target X number one. Uh, came out in 2007. Um, it's a variant cover. Um, let's see who it's by. Uh, Mike, oh man, Mark, I'm sorry. Mark Jevic. <laughs> I know I didn't get that right. Um, but it's a really cool cover. This is this is a book that I got at um, the comic shop by me that closed down. Um, I, I bought it for 25 cents and uh, thought it looked pretty, pretty sharp. So I went ahead and had that graded. I know it's a little bit in demand, so I thought, oh, hey, that's great. Great thing to go ahead and get graded. Uh, the second book I had graded is Ghost Rider number, volume two, number one. This came out in 1990. Um, got a 9.6 on this. All, all the grades were 9.6, um, you know, which are solid grades, obviously. Uh, I was hoping that out of the three books, you know, I'd get it at least one nine nine eight, but um, uh, I, I can't complain too much. So, pretty happy to have this in. Um, I know it, it's a fairly common book, so it has to be in in, in high grade. Uh, but you know, with the new Ghost Rider coming out, um, you know, those nineties books are kind of making a comeback. I think with with the demand. Um, but this, of course, the first appearance of. Dan Ketch is Ghost Rider, first appearance at Death Watch, and there's a Kingpin appearance. So that was pretty cool. Um, I'll probably be um, looking to sell those two books at some point. Um, but this one, I got one for the personal collection. You know, this is my copy of Batman number one uh, from, uh, from the New 52, so the Snyder Capullo run. Um, I've had this for a while. I bought it off eBay. Um, in, in a, there was a lot of uh, Batman's. I think it was like number one and number two, plus um, annual number one, which is kind of sought after for the Mr. Freeze story. Uh, and there might have been a couple other uh, books in there. And I want to say I paid like Forty dollars, maybe you know, forty and change, um, all in on that. So it was a pretty good, pretty good deal. Again, I was hoping for a nine eight on this because it's, uh, you know, it makes a makes a big difference in the in the value. Um, but nine nine six is, you know, I'm still very happy with that, and I'm glad to add a graded book to the personal collection. Um, so anyway. That's uh, 
that's what I've got. I'll be doing some more videos showing uh, some of the other books we got for C2E2 and uh, uh, also some of the some of the prints and uh, art. Even got a couple statues signed. So get ready for that. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.